This is a tutorial on how to replace your skies in Skate 3. There are a couple things you're going to need. One, the Sky Replacer tool. Two, the GUI Export tool. Three, the Texture Toolkit. Four, Paint.net. And five, Blender. Join the modding server so you can actually download the Skybox tool. And for the other downloads, I'll put that in the description. First, we need to extract the Skybox texture. So to do that, you open up your GUI Export tool, click on Win Big GUI, and we have to search for a big file called misc load. You need to locate your game. If you don't know where your game is, go to RPCS3, right click on your game, go to open folder, then open disk folder. So now you click on the folder that says PS3 game, user directory, data, big. And there should be the file called misc load. Now you open that up and let the program do its thing. A window will pop open and now you have to navigate to the sky. So from here you click on content, world, and models. Now this is where you will find your sky textures. These textures are only for the three main districts, no DLC skies. They are located somewhere else. And personally, I don't know where they are. So to actually view these textures, you wanna right click and hit open with. Then you hit more apps, scroll down to look for another app on this PC and find your texture toolkit folder. There should be a folder called Noasis. You click on the folder Noasis and then find a program called Noasis. Now you are able to scan through the textures. The skybox textures are the ones that have the district's name with underscore texture. So downtown underscore texture and industrial underscore texture are those skyboxes. University is just underscore texture. And for this example, I'm going to be replacing the university skybox. Now open up your texture toolkit and hit the PSG tool. You then drag the PSG skybox in that tool and hit DDS. In the texture toolkit folder should be a folder called DDS. There is where your textures are, and it would have exported six different images. You need to keep all six, but you need to just change this one. Okay, now I want to show you what not to do. Let's say you have a cool image, right? You want to use this one. So you resize it to a skybox size. I'm not going to go through the steps just yet, but let's say you actually replace it and load into the game. As you see, the world just looks weird. It doesn't fully wrap around. You can see this obvious line and it pinches at the top. Even the planets don't look aligned. What you need is a 360 image. Well, let's say you resize that and put it into the game. It still looks weird. The obvious line is gone, but it still pinches at the top. So this is how you fix that. What you need are HDRI skies. I'd recommend using Polyheaven or any place where you can get HDRI skies. So about the front page of Polyheaven, I click on HDRI. I then scroll around and find the sky I want. Here's a good one. I want to download this, so I change it to HDR because it's not defaulted to that. Then download it and head to this website in order to make it a cube map. I will also link this in the description. So you open it up and you can see that it is the sky texture. Here it is in 3D view and here it is in a cube map formation. You're able to mess around with the exposure to make it dimmer or brighter. You then hit save, set the size to 512 and highlight the top layout. Then hit save again. It will then give you the picture in a WinRAR, so make sure you have WinRAR installed. Or you can skip this whole step simply by googling sky cube map. You're basically just looking for an image that's shaped like the Finnish flag. In the skybox folder, there is a PDF called instructions. Open that up. There it will tell you a website to where you can cut up your image. Go to the website and select your image. Now you want to cut it up into the appropriate pieces. And these are the settings you're going to need. How to split both. Split vertically number of blocks by four split horizontally, number of blocks by three, then process and download. It will then give it to you in a zip. You don't have to open the zip. You then drag the zip file onto one of these bat files that say rename files. It will cut it up and put the pictures in the folder called faces. Do not change any of these names. Now you can open up this blender file. Once in, there are tabs at the top. You then hit on the scripting tab and you come down and hit this play looking button. Now, if you go back to the shading tab, your image shall be on the dome. Click on the dome to make sure there's an orange highlight. And then on to the right, there's a button called bake. Then click that button. If done correctly, the image on the bottom left shall change. Now, all you have to do is save your image. So up to the top, you hit UV editing and then hit save. By doing this, it should replace your sky texture that is in the sky texture folder. Now go back to the texture toolkit folder and click on the DDS folder and we are going to replace this sky texture. You open up this image in paint.net. Yours should look like the Skate 3 sky. I already changed mine. You then overlay your photo that you made in Blender 
and then hit save as. And now you want to overwrite the existing sky texture. In the save configuration window, just copy these settings. Pause if you need to. Now open up the PSG tool again, highlight the six CDSs, drop it in, then hit the PSG button. There in the texture toolkit folder should be a PSG folder and should be your texture. Opening it up and double checking, there it is, the skybox. Heading back to the GUI export tool, open the data folder, you go to content, go to worlds, models, and then you can replace that sky texture. Now go back to the win big GUI tool and hit repack data folder. You want to make your way back to that data folder that's in the GUI export folder. Open that up and name it misc load. Now you want to go back to your games folder. Hit PS3 game, user directory, data, big. Now you want to create a folder called the backup where you place that already existing misc load in there. Then you place in the new misc load. Now you can boot up your game. I load into university and ta-da! The map looks fine. No obvious lines. No pinching at the top. The only thing that I could have changed was lower the exposure.